really thinking not just about the outcome, but making sure that the journey is one in which I'm leaving like the little things and the people around me a little bit better each day. Hi, everyone. I'm Sarvesh Kanodia, principal in the investments team at Umidya Network India. Thank you for joining us for another Onward Talk. I'm delighted to be able to speak with Shaheen Misri, who is the founder and CEO of Teach for India, and is as excited about what lies ahead uh, as all of us at ON India. So thank you, Shaheen, first of all, for uh, you know, doing this for us and our viewers. Uh, to start with, could you talk about what Teach for India does? Sure. Thank you, Sarvesh. Uh, so Teach for India is trying to build a movement of leaders who are really focused on ending educational inequity in India. Um, and we do that largely through a very intensive, highly selective two-year fellowship program uh, where we select people from around the country. They teach full-time in government and low-income private schools for two years. And then post the two years, they become part of a growing movement of alumni who are working across sectors, but again, with a focus on providing an excellent education for all children in India. Got it. Thank you. Uh, and I think just the kind of work you guys have done is so impressive. And as I keep telling everyone uh, that, you know, it does, doesn't uh, happen that there's a field visit you do in the education space and you don't meet a Teach for India fellow. Uh, so I think just the breadth, uh, you know, and the depth of the work, both of them have been just so impressive over, over all of these years. So, so kudos in doing that. As a star entrepreneur, right, in the in the space, I'm sure your advice will be really valued, uh, you know, for, for budding entrepreneurs. So what would you say to them who are starting out and even to professionals, right, given your experience in the not-for-profit space, what would be your advice to them? The star entrepreneur is, is always um, a, a very heavy responsibility. I, I think I think just a, a few thoughts and not, not really advice, but just thoughts to people starting out um, one is really to have the conviction to stick with your idea for the long term. I, I actually think that it, it's such an obvious um, piece of, of, of uh, information to give to people, but just so critical. I think possibly the thing I feel the proudest of is that I just didn't give up. Um, and, and I think that would be what I would tell young entrepreneurs, that there are so many ups and downs in the work. But just having that long-term lens, um, not wanting to jump around too much, but really saying like, how can I develop excellence and mastery um, in a particular thing over time? Uh, that's one. And, and if I were to add one more, Sarvesh, I've seen, um, again, at the risk of a very obvious uh, idea, just the power of love um, in this work at this point in time in the world to be really, really, really important. And, and when I say love, I mean, starting with self, like, am I able to accept as an entrepreneur who I am for all my good and bad, but, but really embrace who I am? Am I able to love the people that I work with do I love the work that I do? Um, do I have that, that approach of really thinking not just about the outcome, but making sure that the journey is one in which I'm leaving like the little things and the people around me a little bit better each day? Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm uh, reminded of a, of a term that, uh, you know, one of my teachers when I was preparing for my cat days would use. And he would say passion, perseverance and commitment. That is what it requires for someone to be, you know, to be successful. Yeah. So, so clearly, I think what you've what you've highlighted is very similar, right? And so true for an entrepreneur, uh, and even in the not-for-profit space. I just given all the challenges, I think you have to have that skill. So, yeah, makes a lot of sense. Uh, what's next, uh, you know, for uh, for the space? Given uh, and especially given everything that's happened at COVID, uh, you know, during COVID, um, and what does it even mean for Teach for India? Uh, you know, in terms of the next frontiers. Yeah, I mean, big question. I mean, I, I think for the space, I, I think that the real big opportunity is to have used the pandemic to say, let's not go back to education and the way that we knew uh, it to be. Let's, let's really reimagine and redefine what education stands for and how it's delivered. Um, I feel very bullish about, about the idea of blended learning, about learning extending beyond 
uh, the four walls of a classroom into the community, learning from life, learning at any time of the day, learning that's enabled by technology, learning that comes from multiple teachers. So I think that feels very, very exciting as a, as a new paradigm uh, for the sector. So thank you for sharing that uh, with us, Shaheen. Uh, for our viewers who want to know more about uh, you know, the NHB, uh, do check out our grant making thesis by clicking on the link in the post. Thank you.